Russell Koskula and I started Koskula in 2000. We both left corporate careers, one in interior design and one from the stock exchange to start Koskula as we sort of had a dream, I guess, of starting something ourselves and we felt that there was quite a big gap in the market for furniture that was designed and manufactured in Australia. Yuta Badayala is a collaboration between Koskala and the Elko Island Arts Weavers. It's a Yulungu word which means a new light. The reason why we chose that name for the exhibition was that it was both because it's about lighting but also because it's about the fact that we're taking a traditional art form into a totally new context which is into the contemporary interior product design context. Elko is an island off the coast of Arnhem Land in the Northern Territory. It's home to about 2,000 Indigenous residents with the main settlement being Gullawinku. It's a very beautiful place. The women talk to me about going out mud crabbing and collecting oysters and mussels. There's barramundi up there, there's turtles, dugongs, dolphins. The idea for the collaboration with the Elko Island Arts Weavers came about when I stumbled across the weaving that was done up in Arnhem Land. So in 2006, I went up to Darwin to attend a conference called Selling Yarns, which actually explored the idea of Indigenous textiles, um, including a whole lot about the weaving. It took me until last year um, to finally come up with a concept that I thought might actually work. It was pretty clear to me that any sort of product idea that required replication or duplication just wouldn't be of interest for the um, weavers to do. The idea that we've come up with is to provide the weavers with a frame structure. From their perspective it allows them complete artistic freedom to interpret that in whatever way they want but from our perspective it enables us to offer a product that sits within a size and structure for us to be able to get wired up and to market to our clients. The pandanus is what is primarily used in the weaving for the lampshades and the process to actually produce it is really time intensive. It involves hours of walking through the bush, finding the right pandanus plants, then selecting the right leaves to use for the weaving. Only the central leaves of the pandanus tree can be used because they're the longest and the straightest. Then they all have to get stripped which is so difficult to do. <laughs> I had a number of turns when we were up there recently of trying to actually work out how this stripping process occurred. I sort of feel that we've been extremely privileged to gain um, some insight into the women's incredible culture and their traditions and that we're extremely fortunate that they have actually embraced this project. They work together but they share stories and laugh and um, I guess it's that sort of communication whilst working which is um, such a lovely thing to be a part of. In terms of where I see the collaboration going, the Lampshade Project Yuta Badayala is really the beginning of our collaboration. We're also starting to work on some other ideas which build upon this sort of concept of I guess what we kind of ended up calling art products. So recognising the fact that each one was a unique piece, that there was no duplication or replication, and we've got some other really exciting ideas that we're going to start working on with the women, as well as refining the lampshades and seeing what else sort of transpires out of the lampshade project. Wow.